making all that money with that old man. Yeah. <laughs> Today Monday, right? We're gonna pick this shit up. And we're gonna drop it off Tuesday, and that'll damn near put me like a like two hundred dollars away from my old weekly minimum net on a Tuesday. I'm <laughs> real. Shout out to my boy D. On me, man. My boy seen me in, in real life type time, called me, I don't mean. Uh, I, my mama I wasn't gonna make no video. Uh, hey, fuck it, I'm glad my boy seen me put some fire on my head to make the country. Here we go. Sun Project, right? 
she had the little cover. So I was like, damn it. So boom. I didn't want to deadhead myself down to Houston and had the mind to, but I, I didn't want to. I was like, let me just sit still. I don't want to do too much too fast. So boom, Wednesday morning, pop up. And again, just like how I was seeing the day before, which I was just like, come on, man. You seeing where the freak coming out of the tight shit. Everything coming out of Houston. So I went on, I picked up, I picked up what we got now. Uh, going back to GA. Oh, uh, uh, shit. And I was just thinking, I said, man, if I would have just hopped on that uh, original, what you call it, uh, that would have had me in Houston for some profit and not, you know what I'm talking about, it wouldn't cost me nothing. And I would have been able to pick this load up that same morning and I would have been able to drop it off today before pay cut off. And my first check would have been dumb. Dumb! I'm booming off the side phone. <laughs> my mama Ned, my my I'm talking about Ned take home my mom you know like I said taking a little slap on the wrist make sure it don't happen again you know so this one is going on next week so I'm gonna drop this off I could drop it off early today but I'm not gonna get there in time so I dropped this off early uh, Friday morning then we'll reload Friday for something that I can get that delivered Sunday or Monday you know what I'm talking about I gotta find me some good shit, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm talking about start the week off with a big heck of a punch, you know what I mean? So, shit. I'll check in with y'all, like, you know what I mean? take the purse right down right so yesterday when i first took it down i break i cleaned it like i hit it with brake clean and all that stuff right check the o-rings on the guard and i put it back up right so i put it back up in there and i caught the truck and i hide it i said let me see let me make sure it's gonna act right and keep in mind but it did build air now i'm thinking that alabama where the dealership at is on Central Time, right? Whole time, I'm knowing I'm on Eastern, but I'm thinking they on Central Time whole time, right? So boom, I said, you know what? It's building air, but I'm deep down, I'm not satisfied with this shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah no, I'm not, I'm not feeling it, right? I wish I would have had sense enough to be like, shit, let me take it while it's building air, run down here to the dealership, grab it, and come on back, right? So I didn't think of that. I was like, man, shit, let me, you know, my mind was on, let me catch the ride. And they, like I said, they told me they'd bring it to me. But then I, uh, it was like too late for them to bring it to me, if that makes sense, right? She was saying like her drivers was already gone or whatever. By the time they come back, they gonna, you know, it's time to close. So I fuck around and uh, I call a taxi. On me, I called Taser. The Taser charged me just about what the lift was gonna charge me, except round trip, just like ten dollars more, right? So I said, "Man, fuck it, take the taxi." Right again, I'm still thinking they on Central Time. It's already five o'clock. <laughs> like my silly ass got in that damn taxi. <laughs> And went down to that damn village. Boy, them gates was closed. Boy, I felt so damn stupid. <laughs> Wasted that money on me. I did. Boy, I felt so damn silly. <laughs> boy, you should have seen the little spank I had on my face. Boy, it took me a minute to get over that shit. I said, boy, I need more than my normal five minutes to get over this shit. Boy, I'm a little upset with myself behind this silly ass shit. I said, God damn it. <laughs> So I come back to the little empty hand and I'm like, nah, it's shit. I gotta come up with game plan, right? So I said, alright, since I know they on Eastern with me, right? 
I said, uh, they open at seven. I said, uh, we're gonna get up in the morning, the truck gonna air up, and then we'll go down there ourselves, change it in the parking lot, and then go deliver the load. Or, uh, if the truck does not air up, which it did not, we'll call, and I make sure I get up early enough to where I'm the first delivery on the list type shit, right? So, uh, yeah, my load has a window on it. As long as I'm there before three, I'm good. So right now it's like 7.30. Uh, I had to, you know, pay for the part over the phone. And, uh, uh, she was saying her driver get there at 8, so maybe do the pull up here around 8, 30. Take me 10 minutes to, mm. I'm gonna take my time to do it to make sure, you know, everything goes straight. It's, it don't take long to do it. I think it's gonna give myself 15 minutes for that to say I leave here at 9, get to my delivery at 10. Uh, hopefully about 10, 30, 11, we back looking for some person. I'm trying to I'm trying to catch me a fat ass, bass, pro shop ass, fish. Yeah, I want me some big shit, some big paying ass shit for money on me, or at least give me something that combined with this load start me out real good on Monday. So you know I got you know you can't think just one way with this shit. You know? So there yeah, is that is up there. Yeah, I ain't got down here this morning. It ain't it went fuck with me. Then I pulled his ass down to break him. The motherfucker over here split in half. I said, yeah, hell no. Yeah, hell no. We need help on me. <laughs> now I'm saying, if you really, really want it. Now tell me, yeah. If you really, really want it. Sunday morning, you know what I'm talking about? Finna go pick up me low. 34 hours is over. Hey, you got no? Gonna drop it off in Texas. You know what I'm saying? If you really, really want it. Yeah, what it is about 745 if you really, really want it. Yeah, okay, if you really, really want it. Yeah, I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> Let me get the fuel, goddammit. Turn the clock on, goddammit. <laughs> All right, so boom, I did my math on the pump. I didn't peep it till just now, but I do my math on the price that I see on the pump for how many gallons I need because we, with our discount, it keep it back. We have, we pay pump price first and then it gives us our discount back on the car, right? So I did my math, but I need 140 gallons for the trip. I did my math on 4, 4.23.9, so $4.24. And God damn it, uh, when I turned the pump on, it turned to, you know, 418, tell me it went 19, so shit. Now, I'm gonna cut the pump on first and then do my nails so I can save all the money type shit. You know, I just wanna call the bitch.
I'll tell you my mind. <laughs> yeah. True to this, not new to this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, where you know, we a few minutes left, you know. And now, I'm gonna take my ass around yonder to this sunny, you know what I'm talking about? And then, you know, my street dive begin tomorrow. Monday, and you know. <laughs> if you know, you know, you know where I'm at. You know. Yeah, what it is? About five thirty, six o'clock in the morning. In the morning, get what? I be trapping, I be trapping, I be working, I be twerking, I be moving, I be jugging, I be buzzing in the world. Yeah, yeah. He ain't. I be buzzing at him. I be trapping. I be trapping. I be working. I be twerking. I be moving. I be jugging. I be booking all the load. He ain't. All right. So anyway, before I leave real quick, I need my 30 minute break to come back anyway, right? So listen, I done had a, so look, I done had a little execution errors or whatever, right? So last night, I'm looking at the board, and I'm like, I'm seeing, I'm trying to see what's coming out of Dallas area, you know, where I'm at. I'm trying to get out, right? So I see this load going to Florida. And keep in mind, I normally don't fool with Florida. But when I was in Georgia last week, I saw um, I saw a lot of stuff going into Florida. So I was just like, man, let me see what Florida looked like with these people here. And it was actually decent. My mama, like, I was like, oh, shit. That ain't, that ain't that bad. You know what I'm talking about? Make sure I get what I need going in and come back out. You know what I'm talking about? So, all right. I peeped that, and then I peeped that it was a lot of freight coming out of Mobile. It's all finna make sense. So, we the Mobile area or whatever, right? So, boom. I saw this load going to Florida. Normally, I don't fool with Florida. When I plan the load out for my profit and whatnot, shit, you better take it on me, right? But I thought it was up at the top. When I looked at it on the map, when I was playing it, it looked like it was at the top. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, this, man, we're gonna take that trip. We'll come out of Mobile, we'll come out of, and I saw a bunch of stuff coming out of Savannah. So I was like, oh shit, you know, this ain't like the last time fucking with South Georgia or whatnot. I have some options this time, type shit, right? So I'm trying to do my due diligence. I see the load, I said, all right, bet I'm gonna call in the morning. I do. I'm steady trying to do my due diligence, keep myself booked up or whatever, right? So, goddamn it. Why that bitch down by Tampa? Come on, look at it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, damn it. I done booked that bitch. Nah, I ain't going to act like that. I done booked it. At least it's paying me going down in there. And I'll find some shit coming out type shit. I'm not going to let my profit get ate up in gas coming out that bitch. So, we'll find some shit that's going to work for us. Matter of fact, a dude just called me, offered me a load. He running them numbers so fast, but I'm like, hey, bro, like, slow your horse, nigga. I do mad around this bitch. I ain't one of them kind, nigga. I make sure this shit work. My mind, you know, so. But back to the point of the execution mishaps, right? That's 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 today's little mishap. But last week, the little Houston thing, I slapped that on the wrist because I was just like, ah, uh, you know. But, uh, when I got to Georgia, I got on the dock, tried to goddamn it, uh, you know, I'm looking for freight out of Georgia while I was getting a load of boy. It wasn't nothing really hidden. And I was getting irritated. And I was like, bro, you have low key started a relationship with this lady. You've been talking to her all week and she told you before she put this shit on the board what she had. Why didn't you book the fucking load and take your ass on? Now you sitting. You ain't got no freight. Like, why I was hot, I was why I was so irritated with myself. I said, bro, the lady done told you what the fuck going on, and you and you. Tell me, I'll try to see if I find some better. Ain't shit better than what's in front of you. Boy, you looking stupid. So I said, good gracious. So I I, I I fuck around. I called her, I get off the dock, I done parked now. I was like, hey, um, I was like, you know, hey, how you doing? Do you have anything um, that's, now keep in mind, I'm also looking at it like, hey bro, we can't be wasting no days. We can't be wasting no, no, uh, we can't be wasting no motherfucking time on my mama. You know, 
shit. So I said, you know, do you have anything perhaps that's leaving uh, Saturday night or Sunday morning? She was like, actually, yes. And it delivered the same, it was the same load. And it delivered here in Texas Monday morning. I didn't pay just the best. But you know, it, it make enough pride for me to be like, yeah, come on. You know what I'm saying? Get me up out of here. On me, well, I was hot. Hey, man. So I ain't too hot about this. Like at least I made sure it's paying me to get in there. And like I say, we get out of there, so. Let me close the door, seal it up. They already gave me the little seal. And uh, see, we're gonna start heading eastbound, eastbound. You know what I'm talking about? All right, good news, right? Broker reached out and was like, hey man, I got this load out of Tampa. It's hazmat. But it ain't no scary ass hazmat, right? God damn it. Why did you fall? Come on, look at it. Yeah, my mama, Friday morning, right? In the morning. Yeah, on me, here, man. Last time y'all seen me, my silly ass was on the side of the road, right? So, y'all heard me talking out loud, thinking out loud a lot in that little clip, right? I was really thinking out loud, don't judge me now, my mama, come on. Man. So, boom. I realized the time I catch Uber, I said, bro, ain't nobody gonna let me put several gallons of diesel in their vehicle. <laughs> you feel me? So I like, let me just call the TA type shit. Uh, or whatever, right? But y'all heard me talk about the numbers. I was like, bro, hell you no, know, I trust my numbers. I trust my numbers more than I trust this fuel gauge, because I know this fuel gauge. Keep in mind that I've been running my truck off the same numbers. 
the same numbers. I've been running my truck off these numbers now. This shit ain't nothing new. This, this uh, fuel gauge is a quarter off, regardless. My mama, you can fill this bitch up to the brim and it's gonna still tell you three quarters of a tank. You know? So I don't I don't do the gauge. I do my map and I trust my trip needle, right? So I got up that morning. Now keep in mind that I got up that morning. This ain't the first time it didn't happen, but I woke up one morning last week and the motherfucker, when it crunk up, kind of idle, funny. I said, oh shit, I need gas. Cause while I was at home, it did the same shit. It had a hard start like you were going, like, buddy. What's going on? He need gas. I said, oh shit. Okay, then I put gas in there, you know. So I peeped it. I mean, when it idle, I crunk it up that morning, you know, he was a little, I said, mm, you may need gas. And I was just like, shit. I'm standing on it. I, I know my number. So the number was 1,200 that I had. 1,200. When I filled up here where I'm at now, uh, before I went to Florida, uh, the load coming out of Dallas to Florida, I mean Greenwood, Louisiana, we're doing that to those. Uh, I filled up here. So the total number was 1,200, right? So I went, a, I went, I went out my way on the route down there. Uh, I, I thought I was gonna take. 20 to 49 to 10, right? You know, go to Mobile and shit, whatever, right? So, I fuck around and uh, instead of me going down Florida 19, I would fuck around and I kept going, went down 75 South. So, I, uh, I, but I'm thinking, I'm watching the trip, and I'm like, no, nah, I got room to do what I want type shit. I need to make sure I find somewhere to park. I don't know if it's going to be nowhere to park down the state route or whatever, right? I'm thinking I'm being a good good noodle. So I parked. I looked at the trip, and it was like 860-something. I said, shit, I'm about two hours away by the time I get down there to be at 1,000. That'll leave me 200 miles left. And quick as I get empty, I'm gonna go straight to the T8, then I'm gonna make my pickup, and that's how I'm gonna be able to get this particular load off Thursday instead of today, Friday morning, right? I was like, bet, we're gonna get up and do it. So I passed multiple truck stops going down saying if I found my mama, didn't even think about it. And I'm sitting here steady watching the number get up, that motherfucker like nine something. I told, I, I just told, I just said it on the phone. I said, bro, you know, I make sure I. Even though I do my numbers, I have to realize, hey, 200 miles is what? How many gallons? And split that between two tanks. You know, make sure you don't run out type shit. I just said that shit. But I had my mind so locked in on, I'm finna drop this shit, go pick that way, and I'm gonna spend the rest of the day running to where I can, you know, have a Mundo paycheck type shit, right? It just it was just it was just simple as that, bro. Like I didn't realize I did the math when I it was it was at 9:38, right? Out of 1,200 miles, it was at 9:38. That left me with 262 gallons. If you divide that by 5.5 miles to the gallon, that should give you 46.7 gallons. So 47 gallons. You split that between two tanks. I did the math earlier this morning. It, it was like 24 or 25 gallons per tank, right? I, I ran through the same situation with the FLD when I ran out of gas. The nigga, minimum got to have 25 gallons on both sides. That's the shit. So, you know, lesson learned or whatever, right? I ain't gonna let it happen no more, so. If anything, I said she, I was just thankful it wasn't nothing else. My mama, so. On me, I, I said, shit, gas? That's all I need, some gas? Man, shit, man, somebody bring me some gas, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> I was thankful for that type shit, you know? So, boom. Um, I'm finna drop this load off. I'm gonna get there at 7. I know it's uh, multiple other trucks coming, because when I went and got loaded, it was multiple other trucks coming the same direction, right? So, I'm gonna try to be the first one out on the dock. And, uh... thought about it, I said, you know what, I'm this close to home. I technically don't need the fuel to get home, but if I did, it only cost me $140. So, in fuel. So I said, shit, we're gonna go and go home. This week would make the third week that I've been out. I started, uh, I started on the second week, where y'all see me, uh, 
for getting the video. That was the second week. Like I said, I wasn't gonna film it. So I showed hate I waited till this late in the video to say something, but like again, bro, shout out to D, shout out to King Cruz and everybody else uh in the comments and whatnot. They told me to film so much about the content. So I'm feeling I'm at my own. And I suppose I continue to feel the type shit, right? So I appreciate y'all, bro. I'm on. I appreciate y'all. I'm telling you, I wouldn't have <laughs> We're gonna make no video. I wasn't gonna make no video. We're gonna make no pub. We're gonna do shit. My mama, I was just gonna <laughs> enjoy the shit. You know, I'm just gonna test the water. You know? We'll see what it was gonna be like first. What they say? I'm trying to scope the scenery, you know? So, let's get this load off. And yeah, we gonna head to the house for the weekend. We'll find us some shit, pick up Sunday or Monday. Right, so. They do what we do, get on back to the prison, you know. I gotta leave the road, tell me what you want. Bitch, I'm in the trap house, I'm in the trap zone. Grab it to the room, I got everything gone. Got my cell phone, never want to get it on. Couple plays on, grab my bags in. Got some bad bitches kissing and they big friends.